Orchardists in the Ovens Valley had to stand by and watch today as hundreds of their precious chestnut trees were uprooted. There was no choice. The trees had contracted a dangerous fungal disease. As Kirsten Vaness reports, production's unlikely to recover for more than a decade. Chestnut orchards on nine properties in the Ovens Valley will end up like this one, a pile of ash. It was the first plantation to go and just down the road, Brian Casey looks on as his 20-year-old trees are destroyed. It's our whole livelihood there that's pretty much disappearing before our, before our eyes, but it's, it is in the best interest of the industry. He discovered 180 of his trees were infected with the exotic fungal disease chestnut blight three months ago, and now an entire orchard has to be demolished. Last year it generated $125,000 in income, but it'll be a long time before that happens again. It's really 10 to 15 years before we get any, any commercial crop back here. The disease affects trunks and branches and has devastated chestnut industries overseas in the past. It's suspected the fungus came into Australia on a cut of wood which was brought in illegally. It was a breach of quarantine, arguably quite a long time ago, and the disease has probably sat in a fairly latent form for, for a while. The pile of trees being left behind will be burnt in the next few days, but this entire area will remain under quarantine for two years. While no other country has been able to eradicate the disease, authorities here are confident it can be done. It is difficult, but I think the fact that it is isolated to that particular area at this stage, and, and DPI have put a lot of work into, into looking at trees in other areas to make sure it isn't there. The federal and state governments are offering a total of a million dollars compensation for affected growers. We're hoping it'll be enough for us to be able to continue on growing chestnuts. Four and a half thousand trees will be destroyed by the new year. Kirsten Vaness, ABC News, The Ovens Valley.